Can you feel it? We're nearing the end of part one. The new content is coming soon. I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> uh, we have like a few more paralogs to complete, I believe. Pretty sure I fully set myself up for this one. Yeah, it looks good to me. Oh, it's a monster one. Oh boy, it flies, so it's... Uh... It's free to run around the map. Uh, he only has a silver bow, so it doesn't matter if the, these guys are actually able to kill it or not. I'll certainly very much like the EXP, though. Let me at him. Sure thing. Yeah, does he have the special dance on? He does. Why is attack so low? Oh, the... Wait. His battalion is minus uh, attack? Must have not been paying attention. Stay focused. See, you want to use axes. Got to keep leveling up with that. See, these guys are level 26, so I am Ferdinand von Eyre. It's worth beating them up. I will get the victory. Rescue her so she can heal. Actually. Yep. We need to get psychics up. Let us away. Oh no. I'm trying to think of what exactly I can do here. beating up these guys. Getting the most out of it. Leave it to me. She's level 27, so we'll let her idle for a bit, I guess. They were so fast. I am Ferdinand von Eich. We'll just keep you here then. To me. Those guys are so problematic. This 
this was beneath me. All right. And you. Yeah, I thought so. Roll it back. Ferdinand von Eyer. Leave it to me. There. Now we should be fine. See? Nobody died. Mark the flyer for his specific range. Sure thing. Stay focused. Each battle, a chance to grow. Silver Lance in hand. He's rocking that 32 defense pretty well. I will get the victory. I think that'll break if we use it. Needs a repair. Witness Bridget Pride. Caution is needed. Let us away. That's why we're not using Linhart. The sun. The mark of nobility. people across the map to uh, fight the bird. Well, actually, Bernie can just enclose her team, and you don't have to worry about him hurting anybody. Or he's just going to go in that direction. Where are you flying to? There aren't any enemies over here. Use him as bait. And then Bernie can just close her spam. One shot. Yeah. Should I have held back? I will get the victory. I think both of them. I was going to say both of them double. Wouldn't have sprouted you, but. Uh -oh. I prevailed. That wasn't exactly what I wanted. I also forgot once again that these guys have trade secrets. Did I give him steel? I did give him steel, yet I'm not making use of it.
There's still one more trade secret to steal. He has 29 speed. This is his 33. All right. Yuri, get over here. Can he double for the kill? If not, then we can lure him out. Look at all the numbers. 14, you need 26 HP left. And 17, okay. We'll live. ourselves a nice silver axe later. Or not silver axe, silver bow later. Does he have a steel axe on his person? He doesn't need a steel axe. That is that. One more success. You can come over here so you can give her some HP. Yeah. Level thirty two. No magic, though. A bit Trying to go fast. We're on the last use of that. She will contribute a bolting. Ah! 
<laughs> Nobody's hurt at all. At least nobody within range if I move over there. Did she use Apollo Physics? She did. That's the problem. Yeah, 44 magic. And 27 speed. He's probably as strong as Lysithia was in my first playthrough. Lysithia's pretty damn strong. you. That is that. Not great. It's tolerable. Like a lot of the other physical level ups we've gotten. Pretty good. I guess hard work does pay off. All we needed from that was defense, and it would have been perfect. I believe that was like the last one for this uh this week. So we move on to the next week and do three paralogues, I believe. The last remaining paralogues of the entire uh part. And then we split the paths. That's rank. Yeah. And the ability bow crit. Um. Petra. I think A plus gets us alert stance plus. Either that or it's S rank. You have. Beautiful. Once. Maximum evasion. Am 
nice. This. <laughs> and we still have two more. Just recruited Sylvain. So better. Chatterbox. Nope. So let's continue on to the end of the week. It's Felix's birthday. I think. A mid. Got it. Good to go. Lord Breaker. It's fun when you I'm getting the hang. <laughs> All right. We have to do these this week, or we don't get the ability to do them later. But let's burn through some supports. Ooh. Felix, B, and Aloise. You. <laughs> what did I do? Am I in your way? I'm in your way. I know, I get it. I'm sorry. I, I can't stand the sight of me either. I never said that. Stay right there. You're always running away. You must really find me irritating. Irritating? I know. I completely... What? N no, I mean, I know I'm irritating, but... Huh? Stop. Do you remember when you came up behind me and knocked the sword from my hands? I need you to teach me that technique. Sword? Teach? Technique? That's, um, that's a joke, right? Because that's, that's just about the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Maybe so, but I saw you do it. <sighs> you don't remember? You moved like a flash, and before I knew it... Nope! Wasn't Bernie! You must have dreamed it. Unless my accuser dares to produce some evidence. Yes, evidence. I still have your satchel, see? Oh, my satchel. Wait, that? No, that's, um, that's not mine. You can't prove it's mine. You know it's yours. I'm innocent, I swear. Merciful Ciro, save me. This is getting nowhere. But, hmm, maybe I should corner her like last time. Then she'll use the technique without thinking. <laughs> Never mind. I'm done here. Lies! All lies! I didn't do any... Uh-huh. Well, where'd he go? And nothing was learned or gained, but the support increases either way. Okay. I must drop off these papers with Bernadetta. I'm not sure how to go about this. Wait a minute. I feel like I recall this. Isn't Aloise like one of the few people that Bernie is actually comfortable being around? She's as timid as a mouse. And that's when speaking to people her own age. She'll likely scream the second she sees me. Maybe this is a mistake. All that noise is going to frighten the other students. Um, hi. Can I help you? Ah, hello. I owe some business with Bernadetta. I wasn't sure how to approach her. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but okay. What business do you have with Bernie? I was supposed to deliver this, you see. Perhaps you can take it off my hands? Right. Thanks for taking the time. No trouble at all. Here it is. Thanks. I'm going to head in now, if that's okay. Whew, that's quite a relief. How kind of Bernadetta's friend making that delivery for me. Wait a second. That was Bernadetta. But it couldn't have been. She spoke so normally. She didn't act frightened at all. In fact, 
She was quite friendly. Ouch! Oh, yes, it still hurts when I pinch my cheek, so I'm not dreaming. Hmm. I'm glad the ordeal's done with, but now I feel terribly confused and a little worried. Meek little Bernadetta, what have they done to you? Continuing on, Petra with Ash. Oh, is that Petra? Looks like she's out shopping. Hey there, young lady. Are you looking hey, to Anna. buy or would you rather cry? Just so you know, there's no beating my prices. Cry. Beating. Are you wanting to battle me? As in a battle of wills? Trust me, kid. You don't want to waste your life trying to beat me at... Huh? Sword or bow? Which are you fighting with? You have skill with both, I am thinking. Petra, w what are you doing? Why are you fighting? What, what did she say? I was asked to be coming here and do the shopping, but then this merchant gave me her challenge. Huh? This has to be a misunderstanding. Look, I'll help you. What were you trying to buy? We are needing... vulneraries. Many people make use of them and our stock is... Oh, many. that's how they're pronounced. I, I've been pronouncing them wrong this whole time. Oh, got it. Just leave this to me. Come on, isn't that price a little high? Surely you can afford to go a bit lower. Are you kidding? This is even lower than my usual bargain rate. Really? Because the shop over by the gates is selling the same item for a little more than half that. Guess I'll have to head back there after all. Hey, let's all take a deep breath. Here's the deal. I'll give you another 10% off. How's that? Make it 20% and you've got a deal. Hmm. You drive a hard bargain. Fine. 20%. But you better be grateful. It's just me or her, or her eyes on the model, especially low res. The shopping was successful. You have my gratitude. I've been paying much attention, but are all the eyes like that? Not a problem. I'm used to this sort of thing. <sighs> Bargaining no, for prices and are fine. Is complicated. For some reason, Anna's are very low resolution. I am thankful for this bargain. Now the extra can be given back to our professor. I had learnings about the customs of Fodlin. I have gratitude for that, too. Uh, I wouldn't call it a custom, exactly. It's just a trick we commoners use to save money. Efficiency with money is a wonderful culture. I promise you, it's really nothing special. Teach Petra the ways of the haggling. Felix and Flane. When did this happen? When we get this? Spectacular work, Felix! Why are you here? You're interrupting. Oh, uh, my apologies. I simply thought you were doing a great job. Just how sharp is that blade of yours, Felix? Do you imagine you might be able to cut something cleanly with it? Probably. Uh, wonderful! I have a special request for you, then. You want me to cut this firewood? I do. I shall toss them one by one to you, and you shall make a sweeping blow to slice them. Sounds like a chore. I saw a knight do it once, so surely you can as well. Or perhaps you are worried that you are not... What? I am more than capable. Right. Show me what you are made of. Here it comes. <sighs> Doing them one by one is tedious. Just throw them all at once. <laughs> all of them? If you insist. Here we go! Wow, you truly are spectacular. I know. You are undoubtedly the most revered woodcutter in all the land. Now I am intrigued. Next time, let us try an even larger wood pile. Why did I agree to this? <laughs> all right, and because of the situations, we can do you can do getting of new class classes
just for the people that we're actually using. Let's see. Yeah, I wanted him to get uh, horses eventually. But right now he's going for that in order to get steel defense, I believe. Um, what's his what's his chances of getting great knight at the moment 88 his riding just needs to be a little bit higher and miles is, is fine with what he has we don't have to do any certifications oh we only have two more all right first off death toll Ignacio Raphael, two sons of merchant families, set out to put an end to a series of monster attacks on merchants in Alliance territory. I think this is the one where you're split into two parties on two different parts of the map. So, basically, we just gotta defeat their leader, right? Noted. Then why don't we approach from... I can't figure... But I re Pretty sure we did this in both playthroughs, so... Because we had Ignatz last time. Oh, hey. Very well. We'll just skip this. Those that doesn't agree, Professor. Now you're you're gonna go. We depart at once. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Come on, load already. Yep. Two parties on the two different parts of the map. And a wolf shows up here. We could just have Constance blow up the wolf. Actually, what are the conditions? I, I, I don't want to end it in a single turn, though. It seems th This mission seems a little bit tough for a party set up only to be level uh, 19. There was a monster here before? I don't remember there being a monster there before. Hmm. I think we should remove Lysithia so we could have Yuri, so we can have people that can tank or at least dodge hits. So that okay, so the so flame got that support up. Just can't increase it until post time skip. Okay, so let's try to get some of the C ones with uh, her then. Raphael and Ignatz are already in here, so we can't do them. So I guess Manuela? Can't do that one still. Flying, flying is such a problem. Uh, Alvis, where, where, where'd you go? There you are.
Also, yeah, it's pronounced vulnerary. I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. They started playing Fire Emblem, I've been pronouncing that wrong. All it took was for one person to say how it's actually pronounced for my whole world to come crumbling down. Come back. Well. I'm never going to mentally recover from this. Is that thanks a bunch? Much need repairs on weapons. Is that thanks a bunch? And that's all we needed. Begin. I probably should have moved off this to the other side. Monsters. The merchants could probably escape. Look, a drawbridge. Rescuing the merchants is easy. Stay focused. Child's play. Yeah. <laughs> Each battle, a chance to grow. I can feel the difference. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. <laughs> the mark of nobility. Let me at him. Attack range is problematic. Oh no. Ready anytime. Can you even damage him? Zero damage. Curb shot. Still zero damage. Give him gauntlet since he has higher avoid with those. I thought I was dead. For the other side. The sun. Really? 81% chance to hit. Alright, reset the RNG. Sure thing. can do is your movement is that so I can bolting somebody where it's a hundred percent chance and then bolt the the monster they seem right for defeat I think this should also increase her chances to hit oh never Only 85% chance, but that's still something. There we go. Now, hopefully, he's gonna start going up this way. this turn.
Let's do this. That's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Really should have put Baltus on this side. Pretty much kill anybody she chooses to attack. My limit is nearby. I got this. Okay. Put that. Now we can attack the archer. I believe Petra is safe in that demise. space. Nope. Okay, I think we're going to have to soft reset and actually move Baltus over. Too many mages on one side. Let's bring her over. Now they're more offensive oriented. In addition, since they are more upfront about the battling, we'll put him there since he has higher defense. Okay, I'm thinking this will probably work out better. Ready anytime. Stay focused. As expected. Strong. I will get the victory. I will remove you. My heart is full of victory. Good. Hard work. You know what would be really useful here? That shield that m reduces uh, damage from flyers. Oh no. See us for this side of the map. If they can deal more than 30 damage, then. Ferdinand can't be hurt by them. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Let's take care of you. Don't have to deal with magic anymore. Oh, I thought I thought it doubles the damage, not doubles the uh, 
total power. So he does get hurt. 18 and 18. Sure thing. Pretty good. That feels good. Pretty much all the necessary stats. Five damage. All right. Let me add him. Yep. See, who's attacking him? Ten damage. Zero damage. Made of eighty nine. The sun. Dodges everything. Since he's already going after Ferd. I got this. Um, is that everybody? Who do we miss? Oh. People on this side of the map. Of course, of course. That's very unlucky. He's just getting hit by everything. Seems none of the odds are in our favor. We are rolling that one back. That is stupid as hell. Ready anytime. Full level? I did it. I did. Only like a third of a level. Stay focused. Yeah! You fought well. I will get the victory. Oh no. Can I go now? There go, all the merchants are saved. Let us away. We did it. Ferdinand von Eyre.
10% chance that he has sword, doesn't he? Or axe, doesn't it? Yeah. The sun. I won? That can't be right. Forty one, okay. Balance it is. And the near guaranteed kill. Good weather to store, huh? Yep. None of these are thickets. I got this. Thanks, pal. Beneath me. Adorable. Don't forget who you're dealing with. Oh, Lord, the other side bridge, too. There's no archer on the, the side there. It means we can just set you up here. Only one person can even attempt to attack. Duo yeah. damage crits are too strong. get himself a kill and be the true MVP of the game should have trained better didn't even level up pathetic absolutely pathetic do it sure thing an especially violent death. I will win. Flame spirit protects me. Are you really going down there to attack the poor, defenseless people? Oh, 
Well, at least he can't actually reach him. What, what movement do they have? Do they have three or four movement? Okay, same as these guys. So we don't have to babysit them. best for now. Yeah, but now's our chance. As expected. And for good measure, be closer. Just like that. All right, back to the fun side of the map. I'll suffice. I'll show you a plan. Oh. That's weird. All right. Unleash, pals. Just to stunlock you over there. fire on that last square. We can just kill him in one go. We really want to kill the poor villagers. Shame they're gonna escape before they have the chance. Still out of range. You don't have to worry. Yeah. Pretty going, nice. Done. No 
hesitation. Uh, yeah. Is that? Rather go for the more likely kill than have to just reset the map again. I am aware of your weakness. Uh, Witness Bridget Pride. I'm impressed. Yeah, that's not a high chance at all. Magic, come on. Nice. Could have been better. That's strength too. Strength is fun. the three squares like adjacent to your front like front front right and front left yeah. yay knots are helping uh, does she have a store she does. Perfect. Can I go now? For some reason. random deja vu. Prowess. Good stuff. And that guy is a guy strict strict on healing.
I forgot to equip the, uh, the thingy for more experience. Basically, a victory here. Let's do this. No harm in doing this, just to see how far we can push it. Oh, all that's left is uh, it's no more rescues. Okay. Luck is on my side. Strength and magic are now even. Weird. Very nice. I pale in comparison. Forty-five magic. Without any performance enhancing drugs. Just pure cheese. one HP. That means we can run over here real quick and heal. not get any extras. Okay. What did your duty? Your luck shut. shut. Proud. Yeah, with that magic. I'm not looking forward to telling the count. Looks like we took care of him. That man. Got a little weird there. With the uh, placement of allies, but made it through it. No real problems. Thank you, sir. Once we actually put somebody on the right side. Oh, 
All right. A cursed relic. This one is going to be a total pain in the ass. But at least we are using people we normally use in the mission. So we don't have to flip-flop around people. Skip. My Not dirty yet I can I I get Dare and the bitch want the special bracelet. I have stuff there that they feel I believe that who can he use It'd be very good for uh, Yuri I, anyway. no, being a dancer. I, I think so we can dance and then <laughs> move. I sure hope the trip so, like he can get into cover get into cover and then next turn move out dance run back in with that one additional space of movement What level of the enemies here? 22. They're not that strong. Good. We have to run up to the up and left and save that guy real quick. Steal his uh, fretters. What's the objective? Route. I guess we should probably get the C ranks and C ranks in order. So her and Sylvain, I guess. Bernie also could use Sylvain, but eh. Petra is flying, so life is difficult for her. My Scythia has a few. They're all with her class, except for Felix. I guess the last one we can actually apply somebody to would be Violet. So, Violet, who do you still need supports with? Uh, pretty much everybody's already B. None of it matters too much. I guess we'll bring Linhart along. Provide some extra heals in case he needs it. Oh, he's a mage. He doesn't provide heals. doing a lot of battling, so I want to make sure the main weapons are forged up or repaired. Is that the one? Is that the Thanks a bunch. There's plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay. Come back. Almost good to go. 
Okay, so... The strategy that we used last time was warp Byleth over here and have him combine with Stride and run all the way through. Doesn't look like there are a lot of mages. So one other thing we can do, inventory. Give him marching, so he has one more space of movement. I'll just store that and give him the the chalice anyway. Why doesn't he have anything on after me taking away that thing? easily get rid of one of them. Alright, let's see if this strategy works on the first try. last time Duke so it should work this time danger. what a mess they must work for the church sure thing thanks much leave it to me just warp you and her magic is a lot less i'm pretty sure we got him over there last time yes Stay focused. The power of sheer movement. The sun. Uh. Happenstance can be dead. Yeah, these guys are those who slither in the dark. I forgot about that. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Although it makes sense why they have all their weird stuff with the press stones being embedded in all the people. She doesn't have shove. Yep. All right, that's not worth tempting.
Can't do that again. The mark of nobility. Pretty sure last time I was able to make it to him. Oh, I know I know what it might have been. I may have had those... I may have had the movement items already given to Byla. Am I done yet? We had a lot more movement. You will be slashed down! I will not be stopping. Save those for when I need it. Cool. They say magic. Love magic. up and get someone over there to rescue him. their armor is not important. We need to get these guys the hell out of here. This was beneath me. We might be able to get away with using constants to get them over with a long distance rescue. Oh yeah, we got it. Get over here. You're safe now. Please do not resist. Is such a small change truly an improvement? Stuff gets absolutely nasty in a second. I don't know if it's now or if it's in like a turn. That's gonna get bad. So 
sorry, but we've got beasts. Okay, here come the reinforcements. They brought me. Boy, what are you doing? Get back here. You want to die. So I'd prefer it if you didn't. Now we can throw on the chalice for all that sweet counterattack range. Start moving everybody else over so we don't lose. Only a fool challenges me. chance. And I'm gonna play with bait. Let's see if she can survive this. He basically needs one of them to miss. One of the archers, specifically. I have held back. I will win. Nice. Witness Bridget Pride. Love myself a good crit. Anywhere I can hide. We're still, we're, we're still good as long as one of the archers miss. will make this whole thing a lot easier. Right 
each battle a chance to grow. Sure, pal. I'm actually gonna roll that one back. Stay focused. Oh, if you move here, kill him. As expected. I will get the victory. Damn. That's annoying. I'd rather retreat. One, two, three, four, five. Leave it to me. to their demise. Sure thing. Only nine damage. We can, uh... We can work with that. Just need to get rid of all these annoying archers. Oh! May my foes someday forgive me. Ferdinand von Eyre. The mark of nobility. Yep. There you go, Bernie. Crowded on the south lane there. You were outmatched. One more success. Here. Okay. So we can dark spikes you. Okay. Of course I won. I have. And you can take a wind to the face or fire to the face. <laughs> some more fire. Did that suffice? What can you do? Like nothing. I love seeing zeros. In this case. Feels worth a shot. Right for defeat. Try to claim on the 
heart. It's time. Just gonna go right to the man. It's dangerous. Um, oh. This works. And no matter what, he dies. So I guess move over here. Mount. Here. Mount. Mac. No crit on the 50%. Damn, turning was. Did I stop? Constance! Be back here. Actually, perfect. All those nice and easy kills. Last mate is just out of reach. I'll show you a plan. So, bolting. One shot, one kill. This brings me no joy. 162 damage. Someday, forgive me. I never doubted you. didn't give it your all. And I believe the boss doesn't move. Yeah! I thought I was dead. speed leveling session.
dang it. And equip the item again. Like, the levels have to stop somewhere, right? Forty-five, maybe? Or does it just keep going if you're able to somehow scrounge up the EXP? We have two warpers now. I'm happy I pushed uh, to leveling that up. Now his magic is higher than strength. There we go. Guess it's time to give him the Levin Sword. Three. Forty-seven magic. Is such a small change, truly. An send these two right outside of his attack range. Once those two run out of things to spam, we can finish them off. No rescue? No rescues. Okay, she can stay there then. more rescues to go. But she is definitely going to hit level 44. No magic. And that's her last rescue, so time to end this.
failed to attain the relic. I think the coast. Who? The gold. There we go. Bernie got the MVP award. I mean, she basically did save that top area. He made it possible. Thank the god. We'll give those right to him as we do battle in the forest. To earn some more money. We have to be running low at this point, right? We've just been doing paralogs, and paralogs don't give money. Except for bullions, sometimes. Plane, plane got C rank with Sylvain, so that's good. Now let's, uh, I guess, unit. Raphael, I guess, maybe. You have to get out of here. I think it's difficult. We can't do Hilda's, but it doesn't matter because we've seen those already. Isithia's don't matter as much either since we already saw most of hers. Grab what is yours. Okay, so I gave her a speed ring, but I kept forgetting to actually make it so it's equipped. That's kind of funny. Really stupid mistake. have that maxed out yet. Kind of stinks. He's actually about to hit level 30 and she can go right into Remory. I think I'll reclass her for, for a bit. She can still heal while in Valkyrie. Changing up my style. Just not as effective. Ooh, one use from next rank. There should be people with trade secrets on this map. There's one. 26 speed. 26 speed. I'm very happy you're not carrying it, Mr. 38. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, 
they're all X-Men. I will get the victory. Let me at him. Stay focused. Let us away. Yep. Super long range dark magic. Still going after Baltus. Because of his hit? Maybe? Or that you double him? It's probably the attack speed. Some kind of calculation sure in there. Von Eyre. Leave it to me. Oh no. Sally Boy. A party get a grand skirmish. I should just have her. Use Good. warding. He really should just be using that instead of attacking. Ugh. Hey. Should I have held back? Well, 27. Rank. And nothing else. That, nothing else that's important. Badly. Plus, he can run back after stealing. Another bonus. And, uh, oh, it was on its last use. I didn't see that. Swift Strikes, Iron Lance, and let's get the kill. Oh yeah. The mark of nobility. Flame Spirit protects me. Caution is needed. Lure him back another space for attacking him. 
No magic. My Scythia isn't, uh... Isn't getting the levels. First time in... First time out of these, uh, three playthroughs. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. Uh, who's currently not leveling her thing? It's uh, it's her. Okay. I will get the victory. I will not be stopping. I want her to get fiendish flow, so let's let's just heal. I didn't steal that thing, did I? Sure thing. Much better. Let us away. Did that suffice? I am Ferdinand von Eyre. This was beneath me. All right. We'll have her just. Normal heal. Dance. Wait. And normal heal. A few more uses out of the way. I will get the victory. Yep. Here, have a warp. Oh no. Stay focused. Let me at him. Hmm. Yeah, this, this is fine. Lure him out. Leave it to me. Make them all come to us, I guess. We're excusing you well for getting all these people experience.
You are going to do that again. But this time, you are not going to miss. My brother will be pleased. I was expecting nothing. Okay, my asthma is our best chance to hit. Nighty night. It is still far from enough. That's good for the high level spells. It's higher chance to hit, right? More hit, more avoid, and crit avoid when using white magic. Poison. Wish this to die violent. Fine choice. As expected. A very fine choice. Needs a few more. Make a few more turns worth. is supposed to be one of the best speedsters in the game. Whatever happened. for good measure. We can use rescues for the final final turn. You are nothing. Sorry, 
Alright, he's in the woods. Assist. Rescue literally literally anybody. But I felt like choosing Baldus. And now she gets fiendish blow. And we can throw her into Gremory so she can cast all of her magic twice. I feel my strength. Chance of ending it here. One, two. Good. You should be on it. Get him out of here. should remember to put on Axe Breaker when applicable. But go good on yeah. Petra. As expected. Actually, Petra's eventually going to have all of the uh, different weapons at B, at least, I think. We should give her every single... Uh, every single of the Weapon Triangle's killer moves, or breaker moves. Abilities. They're called abilities. But now we have the story mission, and then I think right there we get the transition to the next part. It has been a long time coming. We've recruited everybody that we possibly could. And the day after Lysithia's birthday, we start the next mission. Appreciate it. Watch some supports. <sighs> so full. That fruit plate really hit the spot. Time to get nice and snug. Maybe do some sewing. Hey, you Bernadetta. You look pretty happy. Celebrating something? What? N no, nothing at all. Hey, relax. It's okay if you'd rather not tell me. By the way, I believe you left something in the library. A half-written manuscript? Your own work, I presume? I was curious who it belonged to and gave it a read-through. You're a really talented writer. I think we've seen this one. I'm sorry. I picked yeah, up the we've first seen this page, one. then the next, and I couldn't stop. I think it's good it's enough funny, to publish. Though. It's the kind of adventure story that will make people laugh and cry. I love how you never know what mess the hero is going to get herself into next. I'm dying to read more. Uh, your mouth's hanging wide open. Bernadetta, are you okay? Sorry, um, was someone talking about a story? Yes, that would be me. I read your book. You read my book? Yeah, and I loved it. Ah, I'm so humiliated. Please forget everything you read. Humiliated? No, I think the word you're looking for is humbled because, and she's gone. Now, what do I do with this book? Oh, he actually read it. I regret everything. Even if I burn the pages, I can't burn his memory. Not unless I throw him in the fire, too. <laughs> no, that's awful. Don't think things like that, Bernie. All right, Felix and Lysithia. I'm not sure if we've seen this one. Mm -hmm. Yum. <laughs> More sweets. 
delicious. I'm so content in this moment. Uh, Felix! Lysithia, you look mortified. How long have you been there? Were you watching me? You were, weren't you? I was, yes. Uh, for once I thought I had some privacy. Did you say something? Huh? Nope. Didn't say anything at all. Here. What's this for? I'm buying your silence. With cake. Take it. I'm not sure what to be silent about. If people knew I was shoveling cake into my face by the fistful, they'd think me nothing more than a child. I wonder how many times the they think me nothing more than a child line is in the script of this game. Adults eat cake. You'll never understand. Just take this, will you? No, I don't like sweets. Does your refusal mean you'll be telling everyone about my cake shoveling ways? I just don't like sweets, that's all. Nonsense. Nobody can resist something so delicious. Look, I'm giving you this cake whether you like it or not. Eat it, toss it, throw it at an unsuspecting victim. The choice is yours. Just please don't mention this to anyone. What was her problem? And what am I supposed to do with this cake? <laughs> Sylvain and Flane. It rhymes. Hey there, Flane. I thought I'd drop by and see if you'd care for a... Now just a moment, Sylvain. If you must speak with me, I implore you to do so from where <laughs> you stand. My apologies if this comes across as rude. But please do not come any closer to me. Unless you want Seth to, to behead you. Excuse me? I am sorry. My brother has explicitly warned me not to go near you. Seth said that? I bet he also told you any woman who comes too close to me is, how does he say it, doomed to misfortune? He used those very words. Is it true then? Come on. He's just messing with you, obviously. Of course I would prefer to believe that, but one can never know for certain. Particularly when similar stories are constantly in circulation about you. I have heard that men and women alike have been seduced by your nefarious ways. I hate to suggest my talents are being oversold, but... I have heard that you toy with people's emotions, like a cat toys with its prey. Do I really look like such a villain to you? Well, perhaps not. You do not strike me as much of a charmer. When you put it like that, I feel like I should defend... Yeah, forget it. Let's get to the actual point. Did I not tell you, Sylvain? Stay away from me! It's kind of awkward talking from so far away. Can I please step just a little...? Truly! There are countless terrible stories of your behavior. I've heard that you panic when there aren't women around to flirt with. That you've gone as far as flirting with horses and even chickens! Oh, come on! Who would even...? <laughs> You should know that your brother has an overactive imagination. He does write children's stories. I would like to believe that you are a sincere and reputable person, Sylvain. But there is no smoke without fire. Or so the saying goes. I may not be the most respectable fellow you'll ever meet, but... Until I can be certain, please refrain from coming too close to me. Now, if you will excuse me, I must be on my way. Flame, wait! Come back! And she's gone. All I was trying to do was deliver a message. Flane, hey! The professor said we need to come to the cathedral! I'll run really far ahead so you don't have to walk near me! There, I tried telling her. The professor can't be mad about that. I got a, got a few more. Annette and Lysithia, the B rank, but their final one. Oh! You're still here? Lysithia, hi. Did you forget something? I did. What are you reading? Just something I found. Though there are things in here I don't quite get. Is that the Compendium of Light and Dark? It is. Amazing how you could tell that just from a glance at the cover. I've read it so many times, I have nearly the entire thing memorized. That said, it does seem to take liberties with some topics, so be aware of that while you're reading it. Wait, really? Yikes. Thanks for the warning. You've got quite the stack of books here for only wanting to brush up on one thing. 
I knew you were a hard worker, Annette. No, not as much as some people. I'm... Oh, sorry. There I go again. It's all right. In getting to know you, I've taken some time to self-reflect. I used to think that I worked harder than anyone. But I'm not so sure anymore. I have to work even harder to keep pace with you. Oh, no. But then I'll have to work extra, extra hard to keep up with you. Well, if you work extra, extra hard, I'll need to work uh... super duper extra hard. Oh, come on. Fine. Super duper quadruple extra hard it is. Okay, okay. That's enough. We could do this forever, but we've got better things to do. <laughs> Sorry. It's fun to see you get carried away like that, though. I'm glad we had this chat. I feel excited to continue working super duper extra hard now. <laughs> I'm lucky to have someone like you around to inspire me. <laughs> I feel the same. I'll do my best to keep pace with you. Why are you smiling? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking about how nice it is that we can motivate each other like this. It is nice, isn't it? But I still intend to surpass you. Nuh-uh, I'm gonna surpass you. But before that, uh, could you explain this part of the book to me? I'm not quite sure how someone of your caliber is struggling with this one, but let me break it down for you. Okay. One more, maybe? Yet another lovely day. On such a fine day as this, it would certainly be nice to go for a stroll with someone. I wonder if anyone is around. Oh, oh yeah, this my. one. Such awful noises. Who, or I, rather, what is making those I rem sounds? I remember this one all too well. Huh? The battle oh, cry one. Plane? scared me. You nearly knocked me over with that scream. Well, you startled me. Appearing out of nowhere and making such sounds? What is it you were doing here anyway? I'm just out here using logs to train. Wow. Are you really capable of lifting something so massive, Raphael? Of course. Wanna see? <laughs> see? Told you I could do it. That was magnificent! Do you suppose I could give it a try as well? Hmm. It might be a bit too much for your tiny arms. Tiny or no, I want to be stronger. Do you have any tips for someone both willing and eager to grow? It's probably best to start by practicing your battle cry. If you let out a good shout, you'll feel even more powerful. Are a font of knowledge. Can you apply your wisdom and show me by example? No problem. Just follow my lead. Yeah. How did I fare? Do I look stronger now? Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. I knew this would help! <laughs> Dawn's always kind of funny to see. Hello, Professor Manuela. I wish you to know that I have heard ever so much about your talents. <laughs> Whatever are you talking about, Flame? Singing! Why, you are... you are wonderfully skilled at it, are you not? Why... I have even overheard people saying, your voice is akin to the singing of a goddess. It makes me happy to hear. But who told you that? Oh, the students are always speaking of it. Which got me to thinking, I may be the only person in all of the academy who's never heard your beautiful voice in song. So, 
I was wondering, Manuela, might you sing a little something for me? Your request is touching, but I can't perform on such short notice. My voice is an instrument and requires proper gentle care. However, the stories are true. I was once the leader of the Middle Franc troop, but that was a long time ago. Middle Franc? Um, what do those words mean precisely? You've never heard of the Middle Franc troop? It's the single most popular opera company in the Imperial capital. I used to sing on stage with them. I was the star, in fact. Oh, wow. In all of Enbar? They must not have been around when I was living there. You used to live in Enbar? Indeed. Although I was quite a bit younger at the time. It is where I was born, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, you must have been too young to hear about us. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> that could be. And what precisely is the function of an opera troupe? You don't know what an opera troupe is? Well, it's a group of performers like myself who act out stories on stage in front of a big audience. Stories with lots of singing. Oh, I, I understand now. I certainly have experience in the fine art of storytelling. There is often singing as a part of story time for the children at the monastery. That is darling, Flame. But I'm not sure it's quite the same thing as an opera. You see, operas are performed in grand theaters with orchestral accompaniment. Everyone attending wears their finest. It is a very special occasion. Theaters, they're called? You mean to say that there are buildings exclusively used for... telling stories? You've never even heard of a theater? You're an intelligent girl, Flame, and the world is full of wonders. You have a lot left to discover. Been living under a rock. For however many years she's been alive. Now let's see you oh you're already good on that so reclass you into gremory i am always up abilities you i don't get why you have lance prowess here but uh good thing you don't need it anymore Maybe in place of the HP, I'll give her a renewal. that needs repairing before the big mission tomorrow. And the select forge. Better just bump it up so it has more uses. Necessary items. Unnecessary. All right. Mission. Conflict in the Holy Tunger. House vendors in the Holy Tunger receive a revelation from the goddess in that place to beneath the Garen Mach. A shocking truth is revealed. <laughs>
finally at the uh, turning point of the story. Sorry. And we'll just skip this. We know what happens. Edelgard says she is the Flame Emperor. We have to beat her up. And then we're given the choice. But because we didn't do the little side quest with Edelgard in that one week, we can't select Edelgard as an option. Hello, you. Is the, let's see, conditions killing the commander? It is. Let me guess. So you have 66 and 17 resistance. I'm not sure if she, if, uh, if we could one shot her with Constance. much going on over here. level 29 so some of us are good some of us are under under leveled co by comparison let's check what supports we can nab before the time before we uh move on to the next mission so i think we have one more mission and then time skip That one's impossible to earn now. Oh, we can only have nine people. seen with him yet we're saving all we're pretty much saving all of them for uh later for the future i guess i'm not sure if we've seen all the ones for shamir we probably did in our first playthrough Let's see if we can do this. First try. Without them stealing any of them. Allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the holy tomb. The crest stones are in the caskets. Open every last one of them. The holy tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the crest stones as you can. That the crest stones. If so only can get the back of being supposed to have them, you can earn rewards based on the number of crest stones you protected. Damn. Sure thing. Stay focused. Ah, oh, so close. All right. 
gauntlets. Let me at him. I will get the victory. Oh, that gambit has no chance of working. So we have to crit in order to kill, so are we on the crit? No crit. The rest of them are set to just attack. Or not attack, just to uh, loot. It's the least I could do. Twenty-seven damage. It's fine because you'll have plenty of HP remaining. I am Ferdinand von Heyer. Got to repair that bow. Oh well, he's using her steel bow then. I thought it was dead. You might forget something. Yep. Didn't you hear? I'm dangerous. Twenty two twenty two. She has forty five HP. She will she will live. Beautiful. I love I love it when it all works out. Sally four. He has a vulnerary. He also has psychic. We don't want to deal with you healing people. So goodbye. one of those crest stones that is enough do you even know what those stones are the answer is no he i don't think she, i'm not sure if she does at the moment Makes it easier to steal things, so I'll take it. Ah! 
I love exact amounts as well. Always fun. You should be honored. chance to grow. Good dodge. As expected. Now it's the monster's turn to face Byleth. The quick boy, no doubles. Him this oh turn. My. Might as well take it. Now's our chance. Get some more resources. It seems I've Thing is, he keeps healing himself to full, so that's not useful for him. Just Let naturally gets all of his HP back. Saves one use in comparison. Only a fool challenges me. Good Always getting. that back where you found it or so help me. Flame Spirit protect me. Nice. War feeds my body and mind. You 
should be honored. And freeze the monster in place so he can't attack anything. Archers by just moving into their attack range. just put that. So we can shoot from afar. Watch and learn. Each battle a chance to grow. Practice. They come. Get out of here. That is that. speed. Yep. So good. Death. Yes. Fly over that. That's annoying. Yeah. As long as he doesn't crit. Yeah. Actually, if he gets a crit, he'll one HP. Yeah. We're good. Oh, he was actually weak to spears. Okay, everything's still good. Here I should be able to hit somebody. Oh, 
Calls on the morbid might of the underworld. Each battle, a chance to grow. Strength has decreased, so I'll just have him wait. Meanwhile, we move everybody else over here. a lot of HP ran. A a P HP regen, doesn't it? Yeah, it seems vulnerable to magic. All oh, the stairs. weakness, like clap traps. Okay, let's move you here and rescue her so she can walk upstairs. We've done it. That was a mistake. Yep. Okay. to get this. Be and you can't stop me. I will cover you. It's time. Oh no. I will just move you here to counter their bow guy. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I will get the victory. Sally Ford! I'm just kill the other one for good measure. Because we can. A grand skirmish! We don't need another reason.
strength is all for a mercenary. Noted. Never end up on your bad side. Sure thing. Move you here. Still have storm equipped. Mysterious interesting. I think I should just plant you here and have you wait. This is our chance. Not a half bad strategy. Good thing we have restore. We can nullify that whole thing. Oh, they're all going to the north. They don't. They don't want to deal with the team to the to the other side. Oh, Edelgard's moving too. Just two uses of that. It looks like we're just gonna have to end, end this on this turn. So let's see who we can beat up for now. It's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? You tried, Meta Day. Wait. No. I was just following orders. I just... This has a chance to crit. Might as well take it. Aww. Sure. Face it. I'm better than you. The time has come. Goodbye, Edelgard. At least for now. Professor, I will make no excuses. Thank you for all that you did for me. In truth, no. Let's leave it at that. Predictable. And a pretty solid level up. So, end the first part. The end has come. At least I think it's the end of the first part. We don't know if there's another chapter hidden away. I think it's the uh, defense or offense deal. Another knowledge gem.
So now we have to defend Garrick Mach, I guess. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresvelk would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is a danger to all of Fodlan. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. We must keep the status quo and kill Edelgard. I will withdraw for now. Come, Hubert. When to did Hubert learn warp and teleport? Wicked girl. The Church of Seros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished! You have defiled the holy tomb, dishonored the goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the goddess's soil. Come, Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. Mm -hmm. Edelgard and Hubert have disappeared. They will surely return to the Empire. The Knights have been dispatched to search and investigate. If there is any movement, we will know. We cannot ignore the possibility that there will soon be open hostilities between us and the Imperial Army. When that happens, are you prepared to fight your own? If you wish to return to the Empire, I will not stop you. That is your choice to make. If Edelgard is acting afoul, then we have no choice but to strike her down. It's up to us to stop them. We have a war on our hands. I have no interest in fighting, not even for her. And yet... How are we supposed to decide just like that? Adi, Hubie, I'm sorry about this, but... I'm siding with the Professor. Her doings are wrong. It is our duty to make everything right. I am sure you all have much on your mind. I encourage you to confer with your professor and make a decision. You have until the fighting commences. Professor, I am depending on your strength for the safety of Fodlan. The leaders of the church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire. To rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlan. Long ago, they divided the Empire to create a kingdom, and then divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Fodlan to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresfeld, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. I cannot believe it. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Declared war? Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne, and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlan to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. So excited. Finally, something something new. After... What did that say? Like, 34 hours of uh, getting through the first part, slowly part but surely? White clouds, lone moon, to war.
Together, the people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Yeah, I still haven't decided on a sidebar for this for this uh for this route. The one route where you side with none of your uh head one of your uh, houses. Amir would like to speak? Sure. It's now the best time. Hey, professor. The students seem to like you. Is this the right time? Well, it seemed that way. <laughs> And you're not modest about it. I like that. Still, I can't deny that you've got skills. It's a little strange, to be completely honest. I had my doubts, but they were right to make you a professor. I was surprised too. I'd be suspicious of their true intentions if I were you. But what's it matter? Seems like it turned out just fine for you. I'll admit, it's unbelievable that you used to be a mercenary. I was a merc before coming here, but I can't imagine pulling off your fancy tactician act. I freeze up near royals and nobles. You're not a fan of nobles? You deal with a lot of nobles when you're a merc. I didn't mind putting my life on the line, but I never liked having to bow and scrape to our noble employers. And that's what I like about being a knight. I get to punch all the nobles I want. <laughs> I'm joking. But the knights do make a good business partner. Business partner? I don't believe in the Church of Saros. It makes me a bit of an anomaly among the knights. Rhea took me in, so I became a knight to repay my debt to her. I may be a knight, but it still feels like I'm doing the same things I did as a merc. Who knows, though? Maybe you and I will end up working together again, like a Deirdre. Us knights are a pretty tough crew. I'm guessing you'd run circles around us, though. I'm interested to see where your path leads you. What? Unforgivable! I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. Is she wicked? She plotted with ill-meaning strangers to achieve her own ambitions and defiled the holy tomb. I do agree working with those who slid in the dark is kind of a dick move. If that is not wicked, what is? But as a greater means to or an perhaps end, Perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps as she is Hubert planning himself to make says. herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven, nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrick Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks. That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrick Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. Why me? You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are. Or perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you 
can lead the people of Foldland. Thanks for being especially vague. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know, I beg of you. <sighs> that one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel. One who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. I understand. As ever, I will take you at your word. Lady Rhea! Brother, I will do my part as well. Flame, were you eavesdropping? <sighs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the Professor, after all. And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith. And you as well, Flame. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. It's Constance's birthday. Lots of flowers. And today is the exploration day for sure. She's still only level 29. A support, though. Oh, we can do this one now. Burn in and Constance. Hello, Constance. Greetings, Ferdinand. My condolences on your misfortune that our paths have crossed again. Oh, dear. I am not used to hearing you deprecate yourself like that. Never mind. Just listen. If it is an audience you require, I will endeavor to meet that need. When we last spoke, I was attempting to connect with you, to listen and show you some empathy. But I was so clumsy with my words that I came across as callous and conceited. I hurt you. I know. The notion that a noble of House Iyer could display arrogance is difficult to credit. That you even deign to speak to me is a testament to your humility. As grateful as I am for the honor, it would be best for us both if I take my leave. No, please, hear me out. Though your words chafed, I see now that they were perceptive. I was being arrogant. I tend to... overcompensate. Perhaps I make a fool of myself, bragging about my superiority to Edelgard. You do yourself a disservice. If you are a fool, then I am Folly herself. But you must know that it is no reflection on your sterling quality, Ferdinand. Even in the face of such adversity, you never strayed from the correct path. If this was the right path, the wrong path hardly bears thinking about. Still, your kindness has eased my worries a bit. A wise noble once said that life is a series of peaks and valleys, but I have struggled to find the peaks. I was once pushed to the nadir of a valley, and have spent my days confined there ever since. There is little chance that I will ever return to the heights I once knew, but it will not be for lack of trying. Your persistence is admirable. You are too gracious. I see the highest of peaks on your own road. The way is steep, but not long. You will reach it yet. And if my words might reach the ears of a man who has attained such heights, Perhaps one who has reached his summit might pull a climber up behind him? Such is my heart's desire, unspeakable though it may be. Uh, 
Kind of depressing. There's apparently a Lance tournament going on. Ellipses. Okay, what does Enlightened One give? Sacred Power. Um, adjacent allies deal three extra damage and take three less damage in combat. Okay. this first. And I guess we should talk to everybody since uh, we're in new territory as of now. Hey, more strength. This seems to be the way to go. was Edelgard all along. Flame's abduction? Geralt's murder? The turmoil in Remire Village? Whether or not she was the mastermind behind what happened, it at least seems like she was involved. And yet she was able to remain so composed while she was enrolled at the Officer's Academy. Hey, Bernie. What does this word mean for us? What does war with Edelgard mean for us, Professor? And why does she even want that? She seems to think force is the only way. I wonder why she'd think that. That's how it always goes, I guess. You never realize something can't be undone until you've done it. Okay, nobody's in the upstairs area. Petra is up. Hey, Petra. Hmm. I have had the arrival of a letter from Edelgard. She is asking that I join her side. She is making the decision. No, she is deciding if Bridget is a friend or an enemy of the Empire. But my choice is not to be friends. My choice is to fight with you. Bridget is not a friend of the Empire. We will not be following again. We will be ready to fight with you instead. All right. This is. I had. Do you have anything else that belongs to her? I'm guessing we could probably recruit Catherine now. Ugh. If I could go back to last month and throttle my carefree self. Now it turns out Edelgard is the Flame Emperor and the new Adrestian Emperor. And she's striking out against the monastery with the full force of the Imperial Army behind her. We gotta beat her at her own game. For our sake as well as Lady Rea's. Nope, guess not. Starting an all-out war. That girl starting an all-out war, isn't she? But an enemy is an enemy, no matter who they are. Don't let compassion for her get in your way. This doesn't feel right. I don't normally have a problem jumping into a fight, but it feels strange going up against my father. We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. I'd almost rather fight a monster. I hope he's not part of the group coming to attack Garrett Mock. Well, I gotta say, we have a lands tournament for somebody to participate in. 
Probably Ferdinand. He can handle it. Maybe. So far, so good. The mark of nobility. Zero damage. You should be honored. Zero damage. Only a fool challenges me. Not Dimitri? Okay. That was nothing. Only a fool challenges me. The Beckers of Snake should be proud. The only one to actually uh, last three attacks. What is this? I wasn't expecting this. I thought we'd all be really busy with assignments and getting ready for graduation. But now, now that things have turned out like this, I guess there's nothing to do but fight. Hard hmm. Dimitri and Claude even here? Yeah, Claude's here. here. Huh? What happened? Professor, what actually happened last month? I can't keep up at all. Edelgard is the emperor, and she's declared war against the church? So now we're at war? What is going on? I really don't understand any of this. What should I do? Relax. Eighty, our own eighty. Edelgard became emperor and raised an army, huh? I knew the kid had it in her. I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be emperor eventually, but the more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. We will not lose. Thinking about it makes me scared. We're up against the entire imperial army. Still, I know someone as smart as you will figure something out. Hey, Lawrence. Do we stand a chance? The Empire's aggression cannot stand. But if we are going to attack them now, we must be honest with ourselves about our chances of success. It goes without saying that I will fight the Imperial Army with everything I have for as long as I am able. But House Gloucester's territory is adjacent to Imperial lands. Let us proceed with caution. going to happen to us once the imperial army reaches the monastery we'll have no choice but to fight what's going to happen to us everything will be all right i believe you with the knights on our side and especially with you professor i know we can do this but why things must be pretty crazy in fargus about now my father must be beside himself I don't get it. Why did Edelgard make enemies with the nobles? For the sake of her ideals? Ideals she believed in so much, she was willing to start a war over them? Those must be some lofty ideals, to say the least. Next room. Hey, Hilda. The future looks dark. You'll battle Edelgard, right? Good luck. Me? Oh, I'm going to run away. I have <laughs> zero interest in dying here, thank you very much. Professor, you now look you like can you want to Hilda say potentially. something. But if you're here to lecture me, I'll pass. It's not like I'm one of your students. 
Noted, but I have some stuff that belongs to you at least, I guess. Yep, I remember that one. That's all we got, though. Yes. Need to do. If His Highness wills it. His Highness calls for the head of Edelgard. For me, that is cause enough to fight. You're truly all right with that? The hatred of His Highness is also my hatred. Any other feelings I may have are irrelevant. And if, Edelgard, if that is the <laughs> well, these muscles aren't just for show. I hear the Alliance's territory will be in danger if we don't get rid of these Empire guys. If the Alliance is in danger, that means my sister's in danger too. There's no way I'm gonna allow that. It doesn't matter how many guys they throw at us. I'll beat them all. These muscles aren't just for show. But first, I gotta get some food. Man of priorities. Hey, Lenart. It occurs to me. The most important nobles in the Empire are known for taking power from the previous Emperor. My father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Kaspar's are supporting Edelgard. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Use this to get some motivation for those who need it. Gilbert in this route, because I'm pretty sure you're able to use him. Only Happy likes these. Dishes beloved by few. Looks much tastier than actually is, and only liked by those two. Oh, Catherine's already recruited, apparently. And Cyril is also already recruited. Hmm. They didn't say anything about that. And Gilbert is still not. Sucks for him. Right, we need to find one that... Let's see. Happy is Balthus here. There we go. Wow. All this needs is the right. Okay, I believe everyone we care about in terms of mo for motivation is maxed out. Steadeth also decided to join the party. Everyone who joined is level 23 at the moment, and he is still a commoner for some reason. And my goodness, his stats are bad for level 21. He has nothing spectacular at all. Now, Catherine, she's good. 
though Cyril is just a, uh, a um, he immediately goes to the bench on this playthrough. Nuts. I will protect it. You know, Professor, I'm glad that I came to the Officer's Academy. I feel accepted here. I've learned so much. Honestly, I'm surprised at how much I've grown. So, I will not let the Academy be destroyed. It's important to me, and I will protect it. I feel the same. I feel braver just hearing you say that, Professor. We're gonna win this, Professor. Hey, Anna. Unexpected. I can't believe the Empire raised an army. War is profitable, but dangerous. Hey, how about a favor? Pardon me. Hey, gatekeeper, gatekeeper, gatekeeper. It's been a while. Something's amiss. Greetings, Professor. Something to report. Unexpected, isn't it? Apparently, this is the first time Garrick Mach has been invaded in its whole 995-year history. It's my job to protect this gate, so even if enemies come in droves, I will never let them through. I hope we both survive. Let's battle with all our might and pray we win this thing. Yes, friend. We shall. Really? Ferdinand, what now? Half of the Empire's six great noble families have declared their support for Edelgard. Of the other three, Lord Vestra was assassinated. Hubert, his son, will succeed him. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is under house arrest. His wife is now supporting Edelgard. And my father, he was stripped of his role as Prime Minister. As a result, House Eyre has lost all of its power, all of its lands. We have lost everything. Really? I, I... What do I do? Go talk to Constance. Maybe she'll console you. Got something in common now. That it would come to this. There are always small power struggles. Still, it has been hundreds of years since all of Bodland was consumed by war. I didn't actually think it would come to this. I feel as though I'm not in my rightful place. I cannot protect the things I should. Professor, if I survive this war, I wish to return to my homeland. To the land of my king. Where? Must prepare. We're falling behind. I don't know that we can keep up with the new emperor. To think that she was able to raise an army of that size right under our noses. However hard we fight, I give us a 50% chance of winning. That's a little high. The enemy has too many advantages. We must make careful preparations. Maybe knock that zero off and got the correct, the correct odds of the battle. Surreal. I don't get it. It's my job to protect Lady Rhea. I've got to do it, and I got to do it as best I can. And if that means I got to die for her, then I will. You're not gonna die. You're not even gonna battle. Don't worry. <laughs> How could Edelgard treat Lady Rhea like she's the bad guy? She's never been anything but nice to everybody. I just don't get it at all. Professor. Ooh. Those who serve the church. Those who serve the church must cast aside all selfish desires and devote themselves fully to their beliefs. But is it right to wield piety as a weapon? I have never considered such things before. The church, I, I have always done what I thought best to save the people of Fodlan. 
All right, Claude. How's it going? The Empire is moving quickly. The Empire is moving quickly. Edelgard must have been preparing for this for a while now. If you really think about it, she must have been planning for this even before you got the Sword of the Creator. Of course she was always a step ahead of us. We were blinded by the ball and the battle of the eagle and lion and everything else. What's she trying to achieve? What is Edelgard even trying to achieve? She wants to destroy the church so badly that she'll take on anyone who doesn't fall in line? I don't get it. Hard thing to accept. I just can't believe she'd start a war over it. Not to mention using such nasty tactics to get her way. Could Captain Gerald's death have also been a part of her plan? Don't you go and die on me, Professor. Captain Gerald would never forgive you. I see. All right, fast travel to church. Oh, there's Dimitri. Hello there. How dare they? How dare they threaten the goddess? Such a vile act cannot be forgiven. There is no need to worry, I promise you that. Divine punishment will surely fall upon them. <laughs> in the days of yore, the goddess would grow angry with such insolent fools and roast them in ALL. Who knows? Everyone treats me like a child. Please do something about it. Things would improve if he acted like an adult. That's what she's always trying to do. I'm not good at talking to others. I can talk to birds, horses, and other animals just fine. When it comes to people, I freeze up. There's no need to force yourself to talk to people. Yes. Guess we have no choice. I guess we have no choice but to fight, have we? Oh, but why would Edelgard do something like this? I'm sure we'll be all right, though, Professor. The goddess will keep us safe. A pillar. I'll have that girl's head. Just you wait. Marianne, can we win? Can we really defeat someone who is willing to turn their back on the world? Just to uphold their own beliefs? I've spent my whole life running in fear. And now... I... We can win this together. Well, surely we can win if we rely on each other. Right, Professor? Hmm. If Blaine, another war... Professor... War is breaking out again, is it not? Again? There was a truly terrible war, once upon a time. I never wanted another war. All we can do is steal ourselves for the fight ahead. This one is Cephalin. Okie dokie. I cannot tell the resemblance of the shiny statue to her. Like uh, Lin Hart says. Be nice, Adia. Better be cautious. So, Edelgard. The one who calls herself the Flame Emperor was connected to those strange beings. The Imperial Army might be using even more terrifying methods than we know. You had better be cautious, Professor. Any amount of carelessness might prove to be our undoing. Oh, hey, I think. A useless thing. Um, there's one person on the opposite side. Hey, you. Hey, Manuela. Right. Wow. The mastermind behind the attacks on the monastery was Edelgard? Wow. Doesn't make much sense, though, does it? There would need to be all sorts of territories and groups tangled up in this sort of mess. <sighs> I'm gonna stop. I don't really have the head for this political stuff. Mostly, I'm worried about my old opera company. I wonder what's happening in the capital right now. I hope they're safe. 
the doesn't make uh, mostly. Uh, we got four. All right. Well. So how exactly will we get will we be gathering intel on the empire? The holy the tomb held many crest stones. This is the first time I've heard of crest stones being hidden away in such a place. But more importantly, I'm interested to know the Empire's aim. Why would their army desire crest stones? There is power there, yes. And yet, I must think on this. The crest stones lie at the heart of the events surrounding Conan Tower and the chapel as well. And of course, the crest stones somehow transform those traitors and their captives into demonic beasts. Could that possibly be their aim? The Empire's army may well plan to use crest stones to create demonic beasts. Good job, you got it. Well, at least that's part of what they're doing. Hey, Eloise. To think. To think Edelgard was somehow connected to the captain's murderer. Well, perhaps it's pointless to get upset about the past. My duty now is to prepare for battle. We're depending on your strength, Professor. Crush our enemies. I'll try. Captain, I hope you're watching. We will protect Garrick Mark. X. He said it. We must protect this place. We must protect Gerig Mark. Defiling the holy tomb was a sacrilege. I will not allow such a thing to happen again. The Archbishop has already given you a new responsibility. I want you to rise to that honor. So I have something see. to ask of you. A knight of Seros would have that kind of information. He's guiding the make of the Imperial Army, but is still, much is still unclear. Any information you could provide would be of great help. And X training. So close. So very close. Excuse me. How are you? How are you, Professor? Any new changes to report? With the Imperial Army drawing near, it is most vexing that we cannot relax and converse as we once did. Thankfully. You have the divine protection of the goddess on your side. Please try to listen carefully for her voice. I'll try. May the goddess's voice reach you. How are you, I wonder. You probably want to see all of her support conversations in this playthrough. So should we try just like gifting her a bunch of stuff? Until we see the next uh, thing. I, 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 I. Would you look at that? Oh, you missed your opportunity to deepen this bond, really? Okay. That's a shame. Didn't realize that we were time gated on the B rank one. Oh well. We're here to see how the story plays out, which from what I've heard is just a wor worse version I of Verdant Wind. Our negligence allowed the Empire to invade. Edelgard probably gathered her soldiers in Garrig Mach, intending to do this from the start. Soldiers disguised as merchants and pilgrims to avoid suspicion, infiltrating the entire area little by little. They couldn't be better prepared. We'll have a tough time winning this one, I'm afraid. Until gathered. Give me my renown. Hey, you. Well done. You have my thanks. Uh, that's all we can do here.
because learning is important even with the war coming up. Hmm, so he doesn't get alert stance. Sucks for him. I Getting it to C rank is easy enough. Ferdinand with Seth. Seth is pretty much better in every stat but defense. And maybe speed. Yeah, speed is low. Also, all of his all of his weapon stats are lower. HP is high though, for some reason. Off a bit. Off. Yes. Go on. Off. Off. And some more deja vu. If we get this up, then he'll. Thanks for get a slightly higher chance to hit spells. Oh, we used up activity all of our activity points. Nice. So much, so much to do and never enough time in which to do it. Sleep is a nuisance, but my body forces me to slow down even though my mind doesn't want to. Do you have any tips for shaking tired feelings away? Seeing when you're tired is best for you. Professor. It's Shamir's birthday, Clara. Thank you. We will take a mid. It's starting to take. I've got it. <laughs> I always was. You have any new paralogs? Nope. We have battle in the ruins for a unique one. No 
no supports. I'm so mad that I missed that one. I guess the next time, I guess if we, uh, if I for a reason play this game again, I don't replay games too often. But, uh, well, aside from, like, going for different routes and such, I'll have to, uh, remember to just try to force everyone's support as high as possible right from the get-go. Let's see, is everyone's battalions up? There we go. All repaired. And weapons. Can't forget to repair this. I did last time. Higher chance to hit, more uses. Alright, level 25, these battles. All right, what time is it currently? It is, oh, it's 11.02. Whoops. Huh. I don't know if I've ever done a mission on this map aside from the story ones. Interesting. 27 speed with the trade secret. 24 speed with the trade secret. Oh boy. Alright, we can steal from that guy first. Our units will... Once again, group people with uh, classes they like. I'm gonna put her on the ground. Since she got her flying up. A new feeling. I will. Rusted bow. Oh yeah, the silver bow that we picked up from the other mission. see as many of lanes as possible this playthrough. sword. That way she doesn't accidentally use it up if we put her as a adjutant.
and the support we can get. Or with Sylvain works. First things first. Sure thing. You are giving me that trade secret. It is mine. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I want that trade secret. The sun. They seem right for defeat. What are you carrying, by the way? A silver lance. Okay. We don't have to worry about stealing from them then. So I think we should, we'll probably end up killing the boss anyway. He ain't that strong. Anywhere I can hide. Yep. I will get the victory. Stay focused. Why is Shimmy in the party? We're about to swap her out for Lysithia. Let us away. Okay. It happens. You have some more. He has the wrong thing equipped again. I'm going to fix that immediately. Go. That's a good shit. Aw, uh, no magic. The mark of nobility. One use away from A rank. As expected. Yeah. Practice yields results. You got no skill from it. Beautiful.
50 or higher. Can use it. Oh well. Somebody else can use it then. Ah. She only has rescue. She's the one that has warp. What's your movement and attack range? All right. And so we barricaded ourselves behind those two. Perfection. Stand. Okay. I mean, I like that he's getting his defenses up. At least. Getting something. The alert sense plus is an additional 30 avoid. So that would be 37 to hit. That is unlucky. Nailed by a threat. Somebody needs to... Uh, okay. Here you go. You can take this kill. Are we done? One space of movement is all he needs. Alright. 
Give him a little bit more than that. Not great. Yeah, 30. Now she can get Grimmery. I learn with my heart. Here he's level 33. Magic still going up. Forgot to give him 11 sword. Rusted Silver Lance. Spot our great secret holders. One with 33 speed. Second one with 33 speed. Miri has 37 speed. Also, Shamir by Hello Lysithia. Thank you. 
we got that one. Mural joined Petra as an adjutant. Still haven't gotten that one yet for Bernie. Lane's more interesting with hers since we've never seen all of hers. So go with Felix. Secrets. Hey, Ferd, you want to use the usual? I am Ferdinand the von Usual Heim. strat. Neither of them. Can. Well, actually, he does deal damage. He just doesn't. If he just doesn't. Uh, do damage if we attack first, because it's six. Six damage. Let me at him. I will get the victory. Sally Ford. Sure thing. Stay focused. Let us away. Ha! Yep. Leave it to me. take that and I'm also going to take your iron sword as well actually I can't dang assist ward here maybe maybe you'll make use of that or something I don't know each battle a chance to grow Level 25, they actually get decent EXP. Only a fool challenges me. guys. One more 
more attack and you get steel defense. And then we can do a wombo combo of that plus, plus Shatter Lance. Oh. I didn't realize that he does so much damage. Leave it to me. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. <laughs> the mark of nobility. Oh, he gets alert stance at B rank. Okay. Stay focused. Yeah, that's what happens when Violet gets garbage HP. That is that. None I can do without that. Got him. Speed. Yep. Sure thing. Go on, have the time of your life. Be free. You are nothing. Or it's pretty nice <laughs> when it actually has a purpose, like now. Let me at him. Let us away. I will get the victory. was beneath me. It's just free Brave Lance uses in a skill without needing a Brave Lance. Broken. broken, or just an extremely strong skill. Since you can only use it on your turn, I guess it's not incredibly busted. Although they made it so, in this game, Brave Lances only work if you initiate, right? Yeah. 
You should be honored. him so that way she can kill him on hit. Maybe. Nope, she, she she really wants that kill. I am spent. Admiration. I will get the victory. Well, she's level 46, with 48 magic, Witness and 30 speed. House One of these days she's gonna double somebody with bolting. Unless it specifies you can't double. I don't know if it does. I know there was like some things in uh, I believe it was Fate, where it specified this weapon cannot make follow-up attacks. One more success. Or it makes follow-up attacks more difficult. This will make Let's see. Bolting. It does not specify. So her attack speed is 15. And you know, somebody had an attack speed of 12 or lower, so maybe only the heavy armored dudes would be able to get nailed by it. Physic on, but I'm fine with it. Caution is needed. Maybe. about to end. Wait a minute, I don't have to use axes anymore. I can just punch everybody. Because our axes are A rank. Yay! Should I have held back? Fault this, however, you still need to use that. I have improved.
Someone's fired up. Received a lot of money. Every battle is a hundred around, right? So if there's ten chapters, we get only three thousand if we do battles. I could speed this up by turning off the combat animations, but I remember when I turn like turning off combat animations, it makes the game so much more boring and my brain stops emitting as much as the happy chemicals. Making it a lot harder for me to actually continue playing. So we got the mage and the axe guy to steal from. Come back. Inventory. Throw down in the trash. Stuff looks good to me. Just to make sure the correct people have their adjutants on. so much easier if it remembered who had what Ajidens on each time. Let's mark them. Kind of want to bait the flyer out. Oh, that's why the flyer is so fast. The flyer has weight minus three on them. I didn't notice that before. In addition to having the speed, they have no penalties from wielding. They have like no penalties from wielding their weapon at all. That's why they move so fast. I am von Eyer. But it doesn't matter if you can't really damage them. He's going to take hits, but he's going to be just fine in the end. Stay focused. Let me at him. Sure thing. Uh, did I mark him? Nope, they just have that much attack range. Nothing. 
Yeah, we're gonna have, probably gonna have to keep Bile with all of our defense enhancing stuff. Ooh, he didn't die. Careful now. Damn it, baby. Lock everybody in place. As expected. And he's stuck there. Forgot to put his uh, seal defense. This was beneath me. Oh, he has a range of three. That's why he's being annoying. Just like that. Better than nothing. Oh boy. Gotta roll it back. Plans. Attack. Bolting. You die. You do not do that I again. I sped a weakling to their demise. Let me at him. At least you're no coward. I will get the victory. I will win. One more success. I'm impressed. Leave it to me. It's over. Oh no. Got him. Let us away. Sure Activate my steel card. And now you die. Maybe. Sure I can make this work. Do these things just have higher crit? Yeah. Okay, so wind is crit magic. I don't remember seeing that. I just thought I had higher hit. Suffice? All right. 
This is what a real man. Hey, good job. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Come on. Yeah. And speed. Greater. Speed's good. You're even stronger than I look, yeah? They'll eventually come for us. Someday. Stay focused. When I think about it, I should I should have made Violet uh Warmonk again. That we could uh heal and stuff. Occasionally. The mark of nobility. Didn't I hate you when enemies. I'm are dangerous. That close. You can kill one hit like that. Here come the rest of them. Flame spirit protects me. Can take them both on. No problem. Man, that's some long range physic. Good enough for me. All that work paid off. Uncanny blow. I I don't know what that does. That's a new one to me. That 
is that? First thing I do next time, check the skill list. Immediate first, uh, thing. And also make, make her a Gremory. Challenges me. And there we go. Good mission. Nighty night. Last some money. Gonna day one buy out the secret shop. Although I think we've done that every single time it showed up. We bought, like, all the good stuff from it. And left the items, because the items are okay. Like, the equipable items. What this? Listen up, everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. Uh-oh. Aloise is taking the place of, uh... Like, Claude when we were here. Or and maybe... Edelgard. In that situation. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the Goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor... Are you ready? Almost. Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. You know well how extraordinary she is. Of course we know, but we can't let her get away. Also, please cease your unwarranted glaring. We don't deserve your judgment. My father was removed from his role as Prime Minister, and is still under house arrest in the Imperial capital. As his successor, it is my duty to stop her. The way she's going about all of this is wrong. It's up to us to help her realize that. I won't be following her, but I won't run away either. Adie's going to come at us with all she's got, and that's a lot. That means we need to fight her with all of our might too. She is one who has strength. That has certainty. But we have strength also. We will not be losing. I shall fight with all that I have. It is an honor to fight alongside each of you. <laughs> you students really have guts, don't you? No, I suppose I can't call you students anymore. You're now part of our order. You have our support and our gratitude. Professor, I'm counting on you. Go ahead and take the lead. Leave it to me. These kids, they look up to you. I guess that goes without saying. Just look in their eyes and you can see it. If we all make it through this, let's meet again. Good luck out there. Appreciate A special it. day. Oh, she also would fit into Dark Knight or Holy Knight because her stuff is actually somewhat close to there. Uh, what does Dark Knight get? Black Tone Fair and Dark Tone Fair versus 
this one, which is increased range of magic. I really like the increased range of magic, but... Grimmery. And whatever stat boosts come with it. Easy peasy. None. But why? But... We're gonna keep her as... Okay, we're, we're gonna keep her as... as that. She, she's more useful being able to move around as well as uh, having the additional range. But now, Uncanny Blow. If unit initiates combat, grants hit plus 30 during combat. Okay. So what you're telling me is, if I... But if I put that on, say, Constance, that means she would be able to launch perfectly accurate boltings at maximum range against the most evasive people with 100% accuracy. That is awesome. But uh, I have to get to that point. I guess Sylvain must still have it. Huh? When did this book get here? Wait, this is mine. And there's something sticking out of it. A letter? Dear author, I read your manuscript quite by accident and duly apologize. However, I also write today to inform you that I enjoyed your story tremendously. I laughed and cried as the heroine overcame her many obstacles growing stronger with each step. Your literary style presents a unique perspective. I could sense you watching over the protagonist. <laughs> wow, so many compliments, and so much attention to detail. A girl's failures are as compelling as her triumphs, since authors are told to write what they know. I believe your tale would not have been so convincing were it not for your own experiences. Um, what? My own experiences? That's a weird way to give praise. Who wrote this anyway? Who would read my story so carefully and then write this long letter to tell me about it? Whoever it is, they must be wonderful. Someone like my dear old uncle. I do hope my letter inspires you to keep writing. Looking forward to the next chapter. There it is. Your devoted fan, Sylvain. What? Sylvain? It can't be! Hey, you Bernadetta. Did you read my letter? <laughs> How long have you been standing there? I'm sorry, but I fell head over heels for your story. It's so good, and I just had to tell you about it. So, what do you say? Will you write more? Why don't we talk literature over some tea? Oh, I see your plan now. You're out to humiliate me. Very clever, but I'm not falling for it. And that's how it ends. And they never have another support conversation. I feel like these two would get along. Shamir, you are training away from the ground of training. Ah, Petra. Well, it looks like it might rain. I have understanding. Brain training can cause unhealthiness. Can I give you a question now? Sure. You come from Dagda, I think. Why are you working at the monastery? You can tell I'm from Dagda? Oh, I suppose Bridget is our neighbor. As for why I work here, that's simple. I work to live. Rhea took me in when I had nowhere else to go. I'm here to repay my debt. I don't plan to return to Dagda anytime soon. But Fodlin is an enemy for you, right? Are you feeling okay about that? The only ones I've fought in person are the Imperial Army. I carry no ill will toward anyone else. I have gratitude for your answering. You have given me understanding. How about you? Do you hate them? The Empire is your father's enemy, no? 
And it's Dagda's fault that Bridget got pulled into the war at all. So, do you hate Dagda? Or do you see that as none of your concern? The fault is not of Dagda. My father made his own choice to be joining the war. I cannot say I have no hatred for the Empire, but I do not have any for Edelgard. When I came here, she was always helping me. Makes sense. You can hate a country without hating its people. You speak with such honesty. It is very amazing. I'm not that special. I just don't let emotions get in my way. Hmm. Huh? And Cyril. 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 You are always having great passion and hard work. You give inspiration. Aw, oh, just doing my job. There is no need for showing humility. You work with hardness. I mean, you work hard. It makes me have curiosity. Can you tell me what plans you hold for the future? The future? I don't know anything about the future, but I'm kind of busy, so can we talk later? I have had the learning that you are from Almira. Everyone has the saying that it may have... It uh, may be hard to move up in the church for you. But even with that, you always have passion and work with hardness. What fills you with determination? <sighs> I work because I work. It's what I do here. And, you know, I really want to make myself useful to Lady Rhea, so I can repay the big debt I owe her. Lady Rhea gave me a home when I didn't have one. I understand the feeling of need for repaying debts. But does it give you difficulty? Being a great distance from your home for so much time? Almira's just where I was born. It's not like I've got family there. If you love your homeland and want to go back, then that's nice, but it's not a thing I want to do. I like where I am. The best future I can think of is if things stayed like this forever. Yes, I have understanding. You and I have similarities. But at the similar time, we have differences. Maybe. Hey, I still got a lot of work. Better get to it. Cyril does not want to speak about his land of home? It gives me curiosity. Oh, we still have more. All the way down here. Flane, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Uh, you worry too much, brother. I think a kidnapping is good cause for concern. I was so worried about you, I nearly fainted. Had that not happened, I would have never been allowed to join the professor's class. Even from something so dire, some good did come of it. That is a dangerous attitude. This world is full of peril. You must be more vigilant. Please understand, I allowed you to enroll here only because I thought it best for your safety. I am very much aware of that. You wanted to speak to me of something? Yes, my dear little sister. You are kind beyond all measure, and you are the very picture of innocence. But precisely because of these very fine qualities, I worry about your interactions with the others here. This year's students are particularly eccentric. As your brother, it is my duty to help you with any concerns you may have. I do appreciate the offer, but all the students and professors have treated me exceptionally well. Even so, there must be at least some worry. Please, you need not conceal anything from me. You worry far too much. There is truly nothing to share, and nothing for you to fret over. Are you absolutely sure? The idea of you suffering in silence is unbearable to me. Enough! I made it clear that nothing is wrong. I stand by my word. Well, there is one concern that comes to mind. What is it? Tell me. I will help however I can. There is a certain somebody who seems determined to get in the way of my friendships with my classmates. What? That's horrible! Fear not. I will handle this scoundrel for you. Just tell me his name. It is you, brother. Now then, I must be on my way. <laughs> what was Flame getting at just now? Let's see, I was speaking to her. I asked her to share her concerns, and... Was there something else? <laughs> no matter. Fear not, Flame. 
Your brother will protect you from all harm. You're supposed to keep the tense music. You're ruining the moment. Anybody else pick up like bullions or anything? You have too many people in this whole party. Have enough money. Could be an issue later. Yeah, did like anything adjust here? Nope. Okay, so it never resets. We basically have our resetting from the, uh, what's it called, the, the Pagan Altar and the Secret Shop eventually. I will reclass. Great, what did we get from uh, that one? I can't remember. We got a couple levels it's to go, tough. so I guess we'll just go with that. And Fernand has a bit. So I think I wanted to just get him into Paladin. That way we can give him other battalions and give him an adjutant for support. Addition abilities him. So let's get rid of armored blow for seal defense. So now if we use Shatter Slash, the enemy if if the attack lands, the enemy will suffer minus 11 defense for one turn. It's gonna be great for taking monsters out. Just a powerful gauntlet attack that has minus five to hit. Nah, man, we're keeping draining blow. Oh, finesse blade is the one that's dex. Wind sweep is the one that's counter attack. Okay, I mixed those uh two up quite a bit. It's a minus void. We don't want that. I like having a chance to actually not get obliterated by everything.
Oh, Reaper Knights, we have this still. Um, this one gives lower defense. But it gives more avoid, a chance to crit. And no resilience. I honestly think what he has is better than anything else he could put on. out of this, the Reaper Knights. good, I'm pretty sure. And get any other special things. We're ready, but a little bit late, so I don't think we'll get to this tonight. Yeah, it's 1214. The Battle of Garag Mach. The Imperial Army led by Edelgard advances on Garag Mach. As everyone struggles to process his turn of events, the grim reality of war fast approaches. We'll set our whole group up and get right into it next time. So, we aren't at the time skip yet. We have to beat this mission first. That's why I said maybe next uh, stream would be enough to finally hit new content. We sort of got new content this time since... Uh, since uh, we saw how the other two houses reacted. Still don't get why she isn't a, uh, why she isn't playable. Yep, that's what we gotta deal with next time. Oh, hey, Death Knight. You have very high resistance, and I do not like that. Let's see, for units, we're still... We still only get 10. Johnson's needs to spend more time sitting next to Ferdinand. Everyone's equipment is good. speed of 29, huh? Yeah, that's uh, pretty low. Don't think they should be any faster? Let's see, we have, we have orb here. Orb is good. And we have a ballista here. Ballista is also good. Ballistas. 
and he's standing on the other orb. Jerk. Yeah, this mission is not going to be fun. It's basically pick and choose who Constance decides to last bolting at. And hope that's enough. Alright. So we'll handle this next time. And let's see. So we started this at 86 hours. So, because my brain doesn't always do good with subtraction, 122 minus 86. We've been playing this for 36 hours. Here to like 50 more for this one route. Till next time, have a good night.